Hey everybody, how are we all doing today? Did everyone have a good Easter weekend? Good Friday? Good Sunday? Anyways, hooligan again! I'm still in my house. Just like everyone else. Um, making good things. Uh, found some really cool stuff um, from some con stock I want to show you guys today. Also, I wanted to give a shout out to a couple of you folks that have been messaging me um, via eBay. Thank you very much. Uh, we really appreciate the business. Uh, we are a small business, just like everyone else is uh, on this network. And it's really, we are very grateful to be having you guys uh, support us uh, during this, this time that uh, we're all experiencing right now. Um, and we always like to turn lemons into lemonade, and I hope we've been doing that and making it some of the sweetest lemonade for you guys possible. Um, also want to give a shout out to uh, Cougar. Uh, happy birthday. It was her birthday on Friday, and she has messaged me a few times um, via emails, and um, her uh, friend picked her up uh, some nice stuff for her birthday that she got to shop on. So happy birthday. Also, thank you everyone who has been... Um, Picking up things on eBay, uh, I see a lot of uh, names popping up regularly. Thank you very much, guys, um, and thank you everyone. Uh, with the also the messages for uh, your patience, we are running on on a very limited staff, um, so it is taking us a little bit longer to get shipments out to you. But we're busting our butts uh, to get all that stuff out to you. So thank you for your patience and thank you for the questions. Uh, it's greatly appreciated. Uh, first thing I want to show you guys classic here. It's Lady Death. Devotions 1. I only have one of these bad boys. Miguel, hello. Ace, welcome back, brother. How are you? Good to see you. I hope everyone had a wonderful weekend. I only have one of these. And a lot of this stuff is um, all some cool coffin era things I've found. Another cool item. The Lady Death White Turnaround Edition. This is the profile. This is the number six. Marie Cantrell. Hi, how are you? Again, this is a cover done by J. Scott Campbell. This is a number six. So there's only one of these. This is a vault book. There you go. See if I can wave to you guys here. Wave. Oh, nope. Bink, bink. <laughs> Oops. There we go. Because I can't do that. There we go. Miguel, is your foot healing up well? I'm hoping so. Be nice to see you uh, up and about soon. I also have the Ebass Kickstarter Naughty Edition. Real beautiful piece. This is my last one. This is number 43. At least it may be my last one. I know I have a lot of other things coming up. Oh, here we go. Here's another cool one. We have the set. This is the Crimson Turnaround profile and front book. So there's two books in this set. I have two of them uploaded on eBay. I say, guys, we do things a little different. No shout outs. Just go ahead and click on the links. Do your shopping. Wow, thanks Ace. Um, I try not to look too scruffy, but even my wife complained, um, you're clean shaven again. So I will be, next week I'll be scruffier and hopefully within two weeks I'll have my chops back. So all you mutton chop fans, they're coming back. I know my wife wants them back, so I'm growing them back. No more clean shaven episodes. Oh. The last one I was able to find of these, this is the Ritual Tool Jeweled Edition. And this has Swartzky crystals on the cover. Oh, they'll show up. We've been having some weird cloudy days. So it's not shining as much as I would like. But I just uploaded uh, this copy on there. 
really love those jeweled editions. I also put up a couple of the um, Chaos Rules uh, Chase editions and Damnation Game Chase editions that were uh, from previous Kickstarters. So I have some of those up right now for you guys. Uh, been talking to a lot of people who are into collecting those uh, Chase editions. Uh, another really cool find I have. Lady Death, Sad Girl, Psycho Baby crossover. I only have one of these. Yeah, that ritual set by uh, Harrigan was really cool. Um, I really liked showing off the uh, metal cards when I did the Harrigan show because those metal cards were really cool. And then I'm finding out um, some of the other editions that I never got to see of this. Um, I've been seeing online from people's posts, and yeah, those ritual sets were gorgeous. All right. Have a Lady Death pinups Resolute. This has also been posted on our eBay store. 41 degrees, Ace. Yeah, that does not uh, sound too good to, of weather to be in in April. It sounds um, pretty uh, damn cold for April. I have a La Muerta pinups. This is sacred. I have a couple of these on there. Hi, Dave Harriman. How are you today? Thank you for joining us. Hope you had a good weekend. Hope your uh, Easter holiday, I'm sure it's all been kind of weird for all of us, but I hope everyone had a good time. Always good when you can spend time with your family. I also uploaded uh, the La Muerta Paramore. And the Naughty Paramore, and I covered up with stickers, little stars. So I have this, this pair. And I also was able to get my hands Hellwitch Paramore, and yes I did get the naughty version up also. The one thing that was really cool that I think a couple of people will really be excited about is, and these are number sixes, so these are from the vault, the Lady Death Naughty Paramore and the Lady Death Paramore. Hey, Jacob. How you doing? How's things in Flint? So I have one of each of these, and this is it. Once they are gone, they are gone. I love showing off these. Oh, and the clouds are breaking because it's a hollow foil and I got to show all oh, its beauty. This is Lady Death Heartbreaker. This is the Diodato Jr. Hollow Foil Edition. I put one of those up on the eBay store. Then also, guys, um, we back just past weekend, we had a 20% off sale over at the LadyDeathStore.com. And um, we had some really great deals. And so that, you should sign up for the Lady Death Store VIP. Um, go to the ladydeathstore.com and click for, to get on the VIP newsletter. We have a lot of cool stuff coming up this month. A lot of exciting, another uh, artist celebration we're going to be coming up. We also um, will let you know about sales uh, when we ever we do sales on the weekends like we did this past weekend. Um, also, Jimmy's been coming up with some really cool um, articles 
and um, interviews with creators. So we've got uh, video uh, talking to the create the La Muerta creative team that Jimmy did uh, last week, uh, and it was a lot of fun to watch. Um, um, really cool to talk and talk and listen to the uh, creators and their whole process of making the book. So really cool stuff. So you can get all that by clicking on the VIP to get our newsletters and they are awesome newsletters. There's tons of information, really cool little articles, and also just letting you know some of the really cool stuff we got coming up at Coffin Comics. And thank you everyone for checking it out. Excuse me. I also put up some Chaos Rules Season Summer Edition. I saw some previews um, for some of the other editions. Uh, we had Autumn offered um, a few months back. Um, we got a winter one coming up, which looks beautiful. And the spring, some really, really beautiful pieces dug by Monty Moore. Another really cool hollow foil, and this is one of the homages we do. This is Jaunt into Darkness hollow foil. His homage to the uh, first appearance of Thor and Journey into Mystery. <laughs> Thank you, Ace. Thank you very much. Um, even the back cover is a hollow foil cover. We do not play around when it comes to hollow foils. Um, these things are really cool. Really cool. I love our homages. And when we do the homages in um, hollow foils, we do very few. Um, we only made 60 of this edition. And this is uh, number 47. So I have one of these up on the eBay store. And also, if anyone has uh, any questions for Coffin Comics or me, uh, please send them to inquiries at coffincomics.com. Uh, send any messages or if you need to get in touch with us at all, definitely be doing that and um, we will get those messages out to the people who need to get to those. So that's inquiries at coffincomics.com. So send all your questions there. Oop, let me get that piece of hair that's stuck there. Almost going to get it on the camera lens. Another really fun one. Um, this is the Nightcrawler 0 0.5 poor condition <laughs> slabbed edition of Nightcrawler. This is done by the awesome Rot Michaels. Rot! We had a cool selling session with him on our uh, Coffin Comics Con online, um, which was really cool. Uh, this copy is signed. Has a COA in the back of it, so I do have a signed one this is the only one I have and I like how um, <laughs> for people who don't know when you get your comic slabbed a lot of people go for the you know best condition highest grade and this one is um, a poor grading so you have all the damages and the nicks and the wear and tear that um, the designers add on to this and this is just a really cool cool book from by Marat Michaels Uploaded a couple of these editions. This is the Extinction Express number one Miss Death Emerald Hollow Foil Edition. This was offered at uh, Emerald City Comic Con last year. And this is an homage to the um, uh, Miss Marvel number one when she first appeared, I believe, it was 1979 in her own series, 78. And again, we do cool hollow foil on the back as well. And I have a couple of these. So I have a couple editions of this that I put up on our eBay store. Um, also, I had uh, 50 other items uh, populate this morning. Uh, every Monday, I try to get uh, stuff loaded up to just populate. So I also added not just these things that I'll be showing you today, but 50 other things. Uh, also, uh, most of them um, classic Avatar books, um, 
uh, some of the uh, belladonnas and stuff like that and the last of the uh, lady death stuff I could find from there so 50 of them pop uh, uploaded this morning uh, for you guys to check out so tons of stuff um, shooting for a uh, big goal for myself and that is to have the almost 500 items on there and so far I'm up to the 420s so hey happy 420 coming up everybody yeah. anyways uh, here's another homage this is the Miss Death. This is the standard one. This is the non hollow foil one. It was only 199 made. And this was another cool offering we had over at um, Emerald City Comic Con last year as well. Um, one thing that's cool whenever we do um, conventions um, like Emerald City and the like, we try to do exclusive editions for those shows. And Emerald, we got to do everything in green, a lot of really cool green editions. Um, for the folks who checked us out on the Coffin Comics Con I was mentioning earlier, we had all the cool additions that um, we were going to take with us to uh, the Seattle show uh, before it got postponed to September. Um, so we took all our wares and we just presented it online for a whole weekend for you guys. Uh, it was crazy. It was madness. Um, and it was a lot of fun um, considering we had like a a week to pull this off uh, we did it really well and we showed a lot of this year's uh, Emerald City stuff so most of that's all gone um, what I have today um, for last year's stuff I know we are probably low on those as well so definitely uh, thank you everybody who's been joining us at the conventions it's always a good time and really awesome to meet all you folks especially for me when I used to pick the orders um, as they came in to meet the names and faces um, with all these uh, orders I've picked, it's always been fun and it's to meet all you guys. Another really awesome homage. This is the Lady Death Rider. Just uploaded this on the eBay store. We did 666, of course, of this edition. And it's a really cool, cool throwback to the first issue of uh, uh, Why Am I Happy For It Right Now? Ghost Rider, thank you. I know one of you guys sent that to me mentally, so thank you very much. I appreciate it. And this is really cool. Um, it's the only one I have of this. This is La Muerta Ascension Original Art by Joe I only have this one. This is it. This is a full-bodied sketch that Joel did. Uh, this was offered only on a Kickstarter, and this is it. This is the last one. So really beautiful piece. This is a full-bodied original art. I only have one of these on our eBay store right now. So check this out. If you hear any laughing in the background, that's my daughter. She's at work. <laughs> She must be playing Nintendo. Um, another cool find. This is a homage cover that we did on the Scorched Earth. And this one has a remark and it's signed by Stephen Butler. This is the um, Lady Death Scorched Earth homage edition with a remark by Stephen Butler up here in the corner. I only have one of these and all this stuff is on our eBay store, so definitely click on the link and that'll take you to all the cool things on our eBay store. And also there's links to sign up for the VIP newsletter on there, also links to the uh, Lady Death store, um, lots of cool stuff. Also, we've been doing some really cool coloring contests, so you should definitely uh, jump on over to LadyDeath.com uh, or LadyDeathUniverse.com on Facebook click on the links, get the VIP newsletter, and we have been doing, we did a La Muerta, we have done a Lady Death, and I'm sure we'll be doing some more, but these are really cool. Something to up uh, for you guys um, while you're sitting at home, you know, why not do a coloring contest with our characters? So definitely uh, hit up the Lady Death store, click on the links, sign up for the, uh, definitely uh, see about getting the coloring pages because those are really cool. That was an amazing idea that the guys uh, came up with. Uh, something for you guys to do fun and creative while you're sitting at home. Yeah. 
Another cool Scorch Earth Kickstarter. This is the Don McTeague. This is the hollow foil edition. Really beautiful hollow foil. It really, in my opinion, enhances the artwork on this cover. It just, just, it really makes her skin tone just amazing. Just look at that piece. This is done by Don McTeague and this is the Scorched Earth. Hollow foil edition, and again, the back is also hollow foil. And this is something I have uploaded over on our eBay store, so definitely click on the links. <coughs> Excuse me. Whew, boy. Larry, I am seeing your comment. How you doing, Larry? Larry Mars. Hi. I am seeing your comments. Thank you, dude. Let's see. See Larry. Yeah, I just saw your uh, comments pop up. Thank you again, Ace. Let's see. Let me see if you have any I might have missed, Larry. Um, the vegan book. This one you're talking about, Larry? The hollow foil, or are you talking about the original art cover by Joel Gomez? This is La Muerta Ascension. Um, give me a, a shout out and thank you for the bless you's and kazoon tights, everyone. Larry Mars, welcome. Um, my name's Julian. It is uh, nice to meet you. And if you need to, um, uh, click on the link and you'll find everything on my eBay store. Uh, I have a lot of stuff on there, so definitely check it out, guys. Uh, and then let me know if you can. I think this might be the cover you were talking about. Is that the one you were talking about by Dom McTagg? This is the Scorch Earth Hollow Foil. Ah, I see which one you're talking about. The La Muerta Ascension. This is the original Gomez. It's a full body, and you'll find that on my eBay store. This is the only one I have. It's one of a kind piece. It's one thing I love about. Uh, original art covers is um, you get something that's totally unique and something no one else has and they're definitely well worth the price you pay from these artists that bust their humps to make something very creative and original on these original art pieces. Definitely worth the price. And Larry, where are you joining us from? Welcome back, Miguel. Another Scorched Earth is the Secret Edition by, by Jay Ansolito. I made sure I did some sensors. This piece is beautiful. It's a black and white piece. Just stunning. Stunning. I love um, Jay's art. I, I remember he did a book, I want to say in the late 90s through uh, Homage, which was a part of image at the time if I'm not mistaken and I didn't care if that book was like I believe it was Aria and I so patiently for that book because the artwork alone was just worth worth the wait and at the cover price at the times were like 250 maybe three bucks Psycho Sean's in the house oh right on how's the weather up in Milwaukee man I also have a Lady Death Nightmare Symphony. This is the metal cover. Got one of those. <laughs> Psycho Sean, um, who's popped up. 
Uh, he is our customer service representative, and he does an amazing job. A really good guy, and um, I've been doing some training with him on some wholesale accounts, and great guy to work with, great guy to have as a part of our team. So welcome, Psycho Sean. Another one from the Scorched Earth. This is the Jeweled Edition. This has Schwartz and Jewels on it. I'm not sure I'm butchering that. Been having a case of the Monday. 39 degrees? Holy cannolis. We just uh, heard from family in Oklahoma that it's snowing there right now, and we thought that was pretty weird. So we live in strange times, folks. Let's enjoy them, <laughs> I guess. Another beautiful jeweled edition. This is from the Nightmare Symphony. The Don McTague cover. So 39 degrees. Um, I take it that's definitely the, the daytime temperature. Because man, being a desert rat, whoo, man. When I moved uh, to... Um, Portland, Oregon, I was not prepared um, for when it got down to 18 degrees. Um, yeah, that was horrible. So being a desert rat on the warmer side, but 120s and 110s, those are horrible, horrible. Next up, this is a set I have. This is selling as a set only. It is... Lady Death and She, Lady Death the Reckoning, She Way of the Warrior. These are the metal covers for the 25th Independence Editions. Really cool. The, both these characters celebrated uh, 25 years of publication recently, uh, last year. And Billy Tucci has done um, covers for us. He did these covers. And just a really great guy. And it's always great to see... Uh, Folks that I remember uh, back in the day when I started for Sling Comics, um, still publishing, still putting their books out. It's just, it's great to see. And that's one of the reasons why I was really happy to leave retail and work for Coffin. Um, Brian, uh, I've known for 26 years. He has always been someone uh, I was always impressed with his energy and just his style and just as him as a person. He's just a really great guy and he's a fan that loves what he do does and it shows uh and I think the books he puts out for everyone. I mean, the man is awesome. So if you haven't got a chance, you can meet him along with other creators at Sworn Fest next February, Mesa, Arizona. You can get tickets, they are available. Go to the ladydeststore.com, click on the links to find the Sworn Fest. You can find it right there. Click on there, get some tickets. A really great value. It's a great weekend. You get to meet a lot of the Sworn, and of course, some of the Fiends will be there also. But it's a really great gathering for people who are fans of Lady Death, um, Hell Witch, La Muerta, both classic Lady Death and the new Coffin verse Lady Death. There's all these fans that come out and have time if you haven't gone and you want to go to a great show check out sworn fest next year get your tickets now get your tickets now so much fun another one i i beautiful piece this is the lady death fantasies naughty moon edition this is my last one daryl how you doing daryl good to see you i hope you're doing well Always a good day when Daryl joins the show. Also have uploaded some uh, Unholy Ruin metal editions. And these are full metal covers. I have to get this one in a nice replacement bag because that bag split. This is a full metal cover. Unholy Ruin. It's the metal cover. It's a 48 page comic book inside. I got a few of these uploaded. And 
Daryl, how was your uh, holiday weekend there? Did you have a good one? Did you do anything special? I know it's kind of hard to do a lot of stuff, but um, I wish I was Psycho Sean's neighbor because that man can grow some really good barbecue. <laughs> Thank you. You flatter me, Daryl. You flatter me. Oh, another really cool book. This is the Lady Death Nightmare Symphony. This is the Leviathan cover. Spin Rich did the cover. Really beautiful. Uh, yeah, I bet I missed out on some really great ham, Sean. Um, mostly, I, I'm really in love with the um, jalapenos you make with the bacon and the cheese and the whole... Oh, man, that was so good. So, this was a really cool find. I wish it was... Um, I wish I had more, but this is the Lady Death Apocalyptic Abyss Homage Edition, and this one was signed, and I have this one. Like I say, everything's click on these links are on the eBay store. Most of the editions um, you're seeing are onesie twosies. Um, some of them I have a, maybe three or four copies of, maybe five. Um, but some books, uh, I only have one of, um, so those are up there for your viewing and shopping pleasures. Also another real popular one, uh, I know a lot of people have been going nuts on, and this is done by Mike Crumb. This is the Lady Death Sworn. I got about four or five of these up on the eBay store. Another really cool, cool find. Also, I uploaded all 10 premiere editions, all 10 chapters of Lady Death, the premiere editions. Those are $20 a piece. I also upload uh, two or three editions of the Lady Death Premiere box collection, which has all 10 volumes and a really nice uh, store folio case. And it has the magnet clasping, not the Velcro ones that come off with the glue that I love st um, the store folios. It's where you can go to a con, store your comics in there to get signed and they won't get damaged or dinged up. And you can pack a, about 10 good, good sized comics. All our graphic novels tend to be 48 pages. So you can fit 10 of those in there. And then we also threw in some um, exclusive, like, uh, little chachi stuff. Like, I believe there's uh, trading cards thrown in there and a couple other things. So I've uploaded those on there. Also, I have uploaded all five chapters of the Lata Premium Editions. Um, those, all these items were previously not on the eBay store. Uh, they were only available on the Lady Death store. So I have those on eBay. Also, the Hell Witch Premiere Edition is on there. And um, I also found some really cool um, preview editions for Zach. I'll be uploading later this week. And um, also a Damnation one. Um, it was called the uh, Damnation Game Preview. And uh, it was called the Hex Edition. So I have a few of those I'm going to be putting up there uh, for you guys um, who are looking for some really cool classic Coffin Comic stuff. Um, I've been finding some really cool stuff. Um, I think this is one of the coolest ones I found, if I can find it in the mix of everything here. Um, but there's been some really just fun books. Um, I've been finding in these boxes I've been working on for weeks. Um, so I got some really cool stuff um, continually getting up every day. Uh, a lot of stuff I try to get preloaded. So Monday, a lot of stuff will populate for you guys first thing in the morning. So. Definitely want to check out the eBay store first thing in the morning. That's where you'll see a lot of uh, stuff get populated. Um, that It just makes my life easier. So, <laughs> anywho, um, let's see who else is uh, doing some chit-chat. I missed an amazing ham. Damn it. Yeah, that, that, that sounds about right. But another cool item that I found that I'm also going to be uploading, hopefully by Friday. I'm shooting for Friday on the eBay store. This is a Dan Mendoza Remark 11 by 17 
This is the Lament edition, and there's a remark by Dan Mendoza right up there. And this is his homage to Pinhead in the Hellraiser series. I'll be trying to get this uploaded uh, by Friday of this week. Um, it's the only one I have, so once this is gone, that's it, folks. It's gone. Another really cool uh, print I found. This is by uh, David Nakayama. It's beautiful, beautiful piece. And this is another really cool print I'll be putting up uh, on the eBay store by Friday of this week. So I got two really cool, uh, unique looking prints. Um, a Dan Mendoza Remarks for all you Mendoza fans. Definitely uh, check that out. See if there's not any other messages I might have missed from folks. There we are. So I'll be loading those up uh, hopefully by Friday. Also, I'm hoping to try to get some more of the challenge coins. Uh, a lot of people have been scooping those up on eBay. So thank you very much, everyone who's been buying those. Um, definitely have to do a restock of that. And I'm also looking at uploading the... Um, challenge coin set where they come in silver gold and bronze i actually have one to show you guys and i'll be if i'm able to get some stock i'll have this set up uh, for this weekend but it's basically the lady death commemorative challenge coin set we offered this at a kickstarter and it comes with three coins and they only did 333 sets. When you open it, it's this really nice case. It's got a nice little magnets here. And you get three styles of challenge coins. Uh, I do have some trade paperbacks uh, on the eBay store. Uh, thank you for asking that question. Let's see, what was your name? I'm sorry. Joshua. I do have some trade paperbacks on there, um, which I just uploaded uh, Lady Death Rules soft and hard covers for both volumes one and two. Um, I think I even put up a combo deal um, where you can get them both for a really good price. So yes, I do have graphic novels up. Uh, Lady Death Rules volumes one and two are up there, both in soft and hard covers. And I also have La Muerta Lives volume one also uh, uploaded this weekend too. So. Yes, I do have graphic novels. Omnibuses, I don't think we've put one out yet, but that would be cool in the future. A nice big, ooh, like a leather edition, so it looks like a spell book. Um, omnibus, Fall of Coffin Comic Edition. Yes. Probably pricey, but man, would that be a cool idea. Maybe it comes with like a lock or something so you can unlock it. Let's see. Some other fun stuff I found. I also uploaded the La Muerta Descent. Naughty Skull and Bones, the Mama Z edition. So I did upload a few of these. Didn't have too many. You are quite welcome, Joshua. Thank you for joining. Um, everything here is on our eBay store, but we do have the Lady Death store, so you can definitely click on the links there, Joshua, and do shopping over at the theladydeathstore.com. Um, but definitely click on the links. That you will find everything. Um, graphic novels, uh, if there's still t-shirts in stocks, uh, I think we have very limited supplies, if anything left. Um, baseball hats, trucker hats, uh, the coin sets that I showed you, the other challenge coins that we've made in the past. Um, graphic novels again uh, that you're looking for and yeah click on that link there Joshua and shop away um, uh, Sean is here watching he's our customer service rep so he'll probably he's thrown up a couple of links for people to click on so definitely click on that and then get on our uh, VIP newsletter because I'll let you, let you know when we're doing like sales or having creator uh, events uh, we've been doing artist celebrations and those have been really fun and information uh, informal um, checking out the uh, artists that work for us at Coffin Comics and the writers themselves. So thank you very much for asking these questions, Josh. Um, where are you watching from, by the way?
<laughs> Thank you, Joshua. <laughs> I love your profile fit picture. That's a great smile you got there, brother. Really nice smile. Let's see, a couple other things. Um, I have also am hoping to get out for you guys. Um, I'm hoping to find like buttons. I'm going to start putting some buttons up on there. Um, we also do stuff like wooden nickels. Um, those are really neat. Um, it's actually nice like wooden disc. Norm I don't have one on me. Um, but it's got a really cool image. We've done one for Hell Witch and Lady Death, and um, they're just really cool, fun, collectible stuff we've uh, thrown in to our Kickstarter stuff. So uh, I, if I'm able to get um, some good quantities, I'll be putting some on the eBay store up there as well. I'm also looking at hopefully getting some mini prints up there. Also, uh, another thing that's been really popular on the eBay store that we don't have on the Lady Death store is the print uh, grab bundles I make. It's five 11 by 17 prints for $25. They are all pulled randomly. We have thousands of different images to choose from and I are signed. And if there's a signed one, I'll definitely throw a, a COA in there to go with it. But I like to mix it up and a lot of people have uh, bought quite a few of them. So if you're into 11 by 17 prints, um, it's not just Lady Death, it's all of our characters. There's Lady Death, there's Lamuerta, there's Hell Witch. Uh, and if I have them, I'd even throw in um, some Zach prints if we have any of those left. So lots of great art from multiple artists. Some of them are even limited edition uh, prints that we only did so many of. So a lot of cool stuff for you to check out there at the store there, Josh. And, you know, oh, see, there's Psycho Sean for you on the ball. <laughs> a couple other things. Uh, another real pop that I uploaded is the the Chase Editions. I'm just showing you, um, we cover up the cover so you don't know what you get. Um, these are um, things that people have gotten from us on Kickstarters. Uh, they've been really popular. Um, people have been telling me that uh, they're almost done completing whole sets for the uh, Damnation game that I uploaded earlier uh, today. And, um, yeah, these people are pretty ravenous. There's even some edition, the Omegas. I think there's only like one or two just randomly. Little bags like this. Bag and board. Black sheet. You don't know what cover you get. Um, if I recall, Marant Michaels did the Chaos Rules uh, editions. They are a uh, homage to Funko Pop figures. There's a little cute Lady Death Funko Pop uh, piece of art in there. It is, there's different color variations. Some colors are extremely rare. Um, we only make um, usually about 300 or less of those editions, so they're all random. Um, and it's really fun when we do Kickstarters, we like to throw random stuff um, in the mix. Sometimes we'll throw tip-ins where it's like a mock-up, uh, where it's something we make a couple copies of. So if you guys are wanting some really fun Kickstarters to back, definitely check out ours. We always try to keep it really fun. Our Kickstarter parties and events are always fun to watch and be a part of. And um, I think they're very entertaining to watch. We try to keep um, everyone in the loop. We try to keep it fun, loose, and fancy free. And um, back our stuff. A lot of really cool stuff we offer. Some really cool limited editions. Um, top artists. We do extremely rare editions of their books, too, on our um, Mega Baller um, categories. <laughs> All right. See, Daryl's already in the know. Another onesie one I found here in the store. This is the Menage à Moi. Mischief Knife, Lady Death. Um, really beautiful piece. I, I believe it's Zadarsky. I think, no. I'm looking at that wrong. Um, this is a real popular piece we offered early last year. Say, after Valentine's Day. And these were extremely popular. We did um, 225 of this edition. This is number 114. This is the only one I have in my inventory on the eBay store. So if there's anything you see there, guys, just click on the link for the eBay store. It'll take you right there. And like I say, I have tons 
of stuff I have uploaded up there. Both old stuff from Chaos, Avatar, and whatnot, and lots of Coffin Comic stuff. A lot of really cool limited editions. Excuse me, let me grab a drink of water so I don't belch in your guys' ears. I apologize for that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Had some homemade uh, cheese enchiladas for lunch uh, from my lovely wife and um, burp. It's so good. <sighs> Ooh. fun stuff I found. I have some stuff in here that are um, naughty editions. Um, my little sensor bars have fallen off on them. But here's one for the festive ses sesh season. <laughs> the Lady Death Crimson Bunny. I knew I had an Easter themed one in here. David Harrigan did this. Just in time for Easter. This is my only one. This is a number six, so this is a vault copy. So this is it. This is the lowest number um, I have offered of this edition here. So check it out. All my sensor bars come off. That there. Again, all this stuff is on our eBay store. Just click on the links and check it out. Another really cool David Harrigan. This is the Lady Death Secrets. Flip that over. Sensor bars. Oops. Sensor bars falling off. There we go. <laughs> this is the Secrets Naughty Edition. It's number 36 out of 69. I only have one of these. And once that's it, that's gone. Um, this is another really fun thing I found. Um, I do a lot of the con stock stuff, so I try to pull stuff for the cons and whatnot, and that was one of the books that was found in an old box that um, was part of the con stock area, and that's it. Once she's done, she's done. Also, hey, this one I remember just put up. I have another set I just put up, a Naughty Vixen set. It's being rich and Dawn McTeague. And both of these are available. And you need, there's matching serial numbers, 196 out of three. So I also uploaded a couple of these sets on the eBay store. So I do have a couple of those for all you see being rich, Don McTeague fans. Those are really popular sets. Uh, really gorgeous, gorgeous. Other cool things. Oh man, all my stuff fell over. Where's all my tags? Oh, I also uploaded, uh, like I showed everyone last week, um, the Bella number one prism foil cover and a gold foil cover. Um, those were really cool, especially the prism one. Like I say, I do do a warning for anything that has foil text or foil covers. Do not look at them in direct sunlight. You could go blind. Ha ha. Uh, but seriously, um, especially around here, you look at those things in the daylight and they'll just shine in your face. And it's like, oh, you're stunned. Not only by the beauty of the art, but you're stunned by the cover. They're stunners. It's bah, knock you out. Again, here's a couple other, other cool stuff. Nice, nice, good job, Aaron. Thank you for joining. and Thank you for uh, going down to the Lady Death store and scooping those up. Thank you very much, man. You have good taste. Again, here's a couple prints I'm gonna be uploading by Friday, David Nakayama, and then a Dan Mendoza Lament with Remark. So I will be put, trying to get those up by Friday. Also, with these weird times we're in, guys, uh, I wanna thank you everyone for their patience uh, while some it's been taking us a little bit longer to ship things out because we have put in place, um, implemented stuff just to protect ourselves, protect the customers and whatnot, and thank you everyone for being really patient and you've all been really lovely. Everyone's been very polite and 
thank you again, everybody. Uh, I know we are, none of us have really experienced anything like this, so it's definitely been um, interesting to live through and go through, um, but it's great that to uh, ramble on about all the great books we offer at Coffin Comics, both on our stores, on our Kickstarter, and on the eBay store. And I, I've just been, again, thank you guys for the messages and thank you for the orders. We definitely do appreciate it. And um, I want to know what kind of things are you guys doing? Um, so now that we're, all the streaming services are offering free services. Uh, one thing I started doing that um, I found was a lot of fun is I'm listening to old radio plays old horror ones haunted house ones and chiller ones from the 30s and 40s those are really fun to listen to and it's great because it's all theater of the mind and it's it's a really relaxing thing to do um just to kind of relax let the radio uh, play proceed and just picture everything in your head so that's what i recently discovered i'm enjoying during this uh, quarantine uh, let me know what you guys have been uh, checking out or enjoying. Um, it's It's been an interesting thing. I've been listening to some pretty creepy stuff, even for 1930s. I was like, wow, this is pretty creepy, pretty scary, fun stuff to listen to. So I hope everyone's finding fun, entertaining things to occupy your time with. Um, this is all the stuff I have uploaded recently on our eBay store. <clears throat> the Lady Death Devotions, only one of those. The Lady Death White Turnaround Edition, number six. We have the Crimson Turnaround set. Comes with both the profile and front editions, J. Scott Campbell. And the last Ritual 2, the Jeweled Edition, Schwarzky Crystals. The last one of these. Hi, Joe. How are you? Thank you for joining, man. How was your weekend? I hope it was a good one. I have the Lady Death Pinups Resolute Edition. Only one of these left. That's it. Thank you. For all you Mendoza fans, the real popular crossover that <laughs> sold out real quick. Lady Death, Sad Girl, Psycho Baby crossover. This is my last one. I haven't seen any anywhere else. Good taste in art. Hey, who made that comment? That's a wonderful comment. Thank you. Aaron, thank you for that comment. That was a really nice comment. Thank you, man. I'm glad you like what we're doing. It's a lot of fun when I uh, see all this stuff before you all do, because a lot of stuff we see months ahead of time, especially uh, for the Kickstarters. Um, I, I love good art. I love comics. I love fandom, geekdom, you name it. Um, but it's always a thrill when you get to see a new piece of art that's going to be on our covers. Like My favorite was homages. We did a Godzilla one for the uh, ECC that got postponed. That one flew out, but at least we have a 11 by 17 print I can put on my wall at work. Because, man, that was an awesome homage cover. And that thing blew out really fast. Got a Mike Diodato Jr. hollow foil. This is the Heartbreaker. It's my last one. Number 86 out of 99. Aaron, what's one of you, uh, some of your favorite artists that uh, published with us? Who's some of the ones you seek out the most? Which are the ones that you're just like, oh, that's my guy, that's my gal. I gotta get their newest edition. I gotta get that newest print or cover. Um, let me know. I wanna hear what everyone likes. It's always fun to hear what the people are into. All right, a couple other good things just for the holiday season. I have the little crimson bunny, naughty crimson bunny. We have one of that. Once she's gone, she's gone. Cool homages. Uploaded some really cool homages. Probably the um, crown jewel of the week is the La Muerta Ascension full body original art. It's done by Joel Gomez. Really awesome piece. And um, 
Check out our YouTube channel, guys. You can see a really cool segment that Jimmy did with Joel uh, on artwork and La Muerta. And also he did a joint one with Mike McLean and Joel Gomez. That was really cool on the creative process of La Muerta and the stories they're coming up with. And we're shooting off towards the future. So, guys, check out our YouTube channel. Coffin Comics TV. Got to check it out. YouTube. YouTube. We got a YouTube channel. It's great. Mm -hmm. See, I also uploaded the Fantasies Naughty Moon Edition. This is on our eBay store. It's the only one we have. It's a Richard Ortiz cover. Another really cool book this week. This is a two pack. This is the last ones we have 28 and 28 out of 35 of each. These are the metal covers. Of she way of the warrior 25th anniversary independence metallic edition lady death the reckoning number one 25th anniversary independence metallic collection click on the leaks and scoop them up while i have them also got the um, unholy ruin metal edition was able to get a few copies up on our store today a couple jeweled edition a nightmare symphony I also uploaded a um, Scorched Earth one as well. All these stuff, we do things a little differently. All of our stuff are on the links. Just click on the links and um, do the shopping there. Um, it also will take care of um, any of your other needs. Uh, sign up for our VIP. You can click on that. Also, if you text SWARM to 484848, 48 48, uh, we have a little something special over there for you too. And then definitely check out the lady death store everything we're showing today are things that i have uploaded onto our ebay store uh this past weekend and i also uploaded 50 other classic comics that brian polito created and wrote on so lots of cool stuff uh, if you're looking for some classic stuff from chaos era avatar era and of course the coffin comics era i also uploaded a really cool piece um that's the oldest Lady Death Coffin Comics item I could find. Um, there was only a hundred published, and this one actually didn't have a serial number. It was just blank. Uh, it was a previous exclusive cover done by uh, Stephen Hughes. So definitely check that out. I only got a couple more minutes. Um, thank you, everyone. Again, um, we are a small business. We are a small publisher. We are funded by you, the fans, um, by you, the readers. Uh, we do things via Kickstarter and on our store. Um, it's been an interesting time, but I think everyone has been doing an amazing job. Um, I've been seeing a lot of people supporting each other, um, a lot of people helping out where they can. Uh, just try to help each other out, be there for each other. It's um, some really interesting days we live in, but I think if we all to come together as uh, communities, and um, since we can't, you know, social distancing and all, send out a message, write a letter, write a letter, do something just unique that you haven't done in a while that, that just makes this whole experience even better and the best we can make it together. So thank you everyone. We really do appreciate it. Um, I appreciate it. It's been fun doing these videos. Um, shout out to Al and everyone, Cougar and a lot of the other fiends, Miguel, um, Daryl, thank you everyone for um, sending the messages uh, that I've been getting through eBay. Uh, I'm really glad you guys are liking what I'm finding. Thank you again for your patience with the shipping. We totally understand. And um, thank you guys. You guys have been really um, I'm Hooligan. Shout out to all you fiends and all the sworn. I am sworn to Coffee Comics. I am sworn to you. And... Again, guys, I hope everyone had a lovely weekend with the family uh, during Easter. Uh, and I hope everyone had a good Friday on Friday. Um, everyone keep an eye out for each other. Everyone look out for each other. And um, again, thank you for spending some time with me. I'll see you guys next Monday. And I hope you have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.